Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Aries for the month of September 2021. So before I begin, I'd just like to welcome everyone, and especially anyone who's new to our Angel School community. And just a few, before we get into the reading, um, just a few notes. So I just um, filmed the monthly angel reading, the very first monthly angel reading um, for the month of September so that I don't have to try to cram it into this reading. Um, and so be sure to go check that out. Also, um, I will be giving my month, uh, my angel reading special offer for the month of September, which I've been doing since the pandemic. Um, my half hour reading for $77 will be extended to one full hour. So if you would like an angel reading with me, you can go to my webpage, theangelschool.com slash services. And there's a link below this video. And, um, when you get to the page, you would just select the half hour reading as is. And within 24 hours on the first business day, I will send you a confirmation email noting that special offer. And in the email that you receive, it will be all the next instructions you need to um, create an appointment with me. So just follow um, whatever is there. And like always, um, the card format here is going to be a card on the uh, left is from the Major Arcana, it will tell us the Archangel that you will be working with this month, in particular Aries. And um, it will note the major themes, lessons, energies, and influences that are moving for, uh, for you in the month of, of September. And then the card on the right is a message from your guardian angel from the minor arcana. It will show us how this will unfold in the day-to-day, -day, um, in our day-to-day -day awareness and in events and activities. Um, and it will give us as well a divine prescription about how to work with those energies. So advice. All right, so let's begin by taking a deep breath together. Just breathe into your heart center and they're already writing the word lesson so um i don't want to say brace yourselves aries but it, it definitely seems like it's going to be a lesson um a, a huge lesson for you in this month that you'll be working through and they're showing me the angel number seven and the angel number five separately and what they're showing me with the seven is that this means that you're on the right path that's the first thing they want you to know you're on the right path. Um, you are very intelligent and they want you to trust yourself. Now, they were showing me a lamp, uh, almost sort of like some kind of pastel pink um, and peach and white crystals, um, the lamp, but there was sort of an alligator <laughs> um, biting on the stem of that lamp. So he had it in his mouth. Um, and there is a feeling that um, maybe you tend to either succumb to attacks on your intelligence or your point of view, um, maybe you, or, or you're, you're very critical towards yourself. And it's the first time I'm you know, working with this particular symbolism. But it's just the feeling I get in that moment. So um, you just really want to be aware of, you know, not taking to heart other people's opinions or being critical of yourself. And then writing this word respect, which came up in the monthly reading. So um, hopefully you would have had time to watch that. If you haven't, stop and then go watch that first and then um, watch the video for your zodiac sign. So it's gonna, that's gonna be one of the major lessons for the month for everybody is this idea of respect and not allowing 
ourselves to um, be to 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 create. We, what, what happens is um, when people aren't respecting us, and if it happens a lot, it be, you know, it becomes sort of this belief and this expectation, and then we make it a thing. And it becomes a thing, so we either don't do things or we end up um, interacting with people in ways that aren't healthy for us. Um, you know, we get really hung up about it. We make issues about it. And what they're just saying for us in this month is don't let things eclipse your light. So you have to set what's important. And if you know this is a thing that you deal with, then you're going to have to come up with something that's far more important in your life and find something of value in you that is so far above, prizes you so far above that, that you won't be able to let that get to you to stop you from going where you're going. You're going to have to say to yourself, that's just not important. This is. What are you manifesting? What are you trying to manifest in this in this? right now and I keep seeing that manifestation, the word manifestation. So you need to be really focused on what it is that you're trying to manifest. And it brings back to my attention to number five, because they showed me the number of angel number five and you're standing in a door or the angel number five was in the doorway. So this is telling me that huge changes, you're you're in the, right on the threshold of incredible change. And so this is what this whole month is about for everybody, about being held back by our limiting beliefs, but why we're being, and it's, and it's ramping up because we're being pulled. We feel the pull, the summons, the call to a whole new way of living. And because we're not used to it, because we've been stuck in this par paradigm of karma for so long, and we're not used to this breath of fresh air we don't really know how to adjust and to acclimate ourselves and to embrace it, to accept it. So we're, we're in this struggle. And the things that are unfolding in this month, the things that will come up for you will help you to overcome that. So be aware of the obstacle course. Be aware of the obstacle course but be appreciative of it as well because it's provoking you to bring out the best the best qualities within yourself. All right, let's take a look at the archangel that you'll be working with for the month. So it's Archangel Haniel and this is the moon card. So this really highlights that things, you know, coming up from the, you know, beneath the surface, subconscious. And it's going to come up so that you can see it. So that you have a, a better clue about what it is that, you, you know, sabotages you in a way. So that you can have a little bit more, you can be a little bit more proactive and how you work through it or around it or above it, right? Because the thing is, you don't really have to play into it. So don't worry about so much about how to work through, work it, work it away. Think of where you put, place your, 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 your sights higher, somewhere above that, where that energy is, can't touch you. You're untouchable if you focus yourself in a, in a place of, profound integrity, that energy is, un is untouchable. It can't touch you. All right, let's take a look at the card for the week. And this is the, so we have in, in the, the, the energy five is just coming up a lot, right? And this is a card of about healthy competition. You know, it's that and, and this card for me really exemplifies what I've been saying about an obstacle course. It's, it's a tool, um, you know, for training, for bringing out skills, for helping you to improve weaknesses. 
And so sometimes when we find ourselves in this place where we um, are comparing ourselves to others' abilities and gifts, without there should always be and there always will be somebody that's going to be doing something better than what we do. And that's the moment to appreciate that person for being in your life, for showing you the an ability that you have or a potential that you can work towards or bring out. This may seem a little silly, but it's a good example because it shows us how it doesn't always have to be that serious. But when I moved here to to New York and up north, and this is to not say anything against people who, um, from the south or from other parts of the country, um, but, you know, where I came from, you know, we drove everywhere. I mean, people were, to me, are not, were not that physically active or, I mean, it's it's definitely improved now there's been such a surge in probably the last 20 years, obviously. But in New York, you have to walk everywhere. You have to, you know, you, you're going to be taking stairs and et cetera. And when I started um, walking on the riverside, you know, I started seeing people um, who were, how do I want to say this? Um, you know, people who were older, um, but younger, <laughs> um, because they may have been, you know, in their, you know, 80s. Or, I've seen people running when I was like, I was I older, like 40 at that point or 35, and I couldn't even run. I mean, you know, I, I struggled. And so the thing is, is that by moving here, you know, I, I was like, I felt ashamed, you know, that I couldn't be that active in that way. But if I had not seen this, I would never have known it was something that I should be thinking about and improving myself. So ever since then, it's put it every day, it puts it into my mind that I've got to, I can live a healthier life when it doesn't matter just because I get old that I have to, my body has to, you know, crumble, that I can be vibrant and healthy and active and flexible. It's just about how I treat myself. And and this is what this whole respect thing is about. Don't judge people or criticize in, in your comparisons. Do what's right for Do the right thing. That is to say, respect yourself. If, if something, if, if you envy something and just because you want it and, and then you realize because you haven't been given that to yourself, then don't keep judging them or picking at that every day in your mind, go ahead and do something about it for yourself and thank them for showing to you that this is something that you could could do. So it's that idea. So Aries, whatever comes up for you in this, this month, um, it will show you how you can make that room, that margin for improvement so that you can move towards this, this this whole new threshold of opportunities and leave behind the, the the limitations. You can, so earmark around you the things that really strike you and you go, I wish I could really do that. Go ahead and really do that. Don't criticize, don't, don't, don't um, speak negatively. Get yourself in gear to do it because in taking that 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 shot you will have learned an invaluable lesson and you would have taken yourself above that negativity all right so i send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month